My name is Masato Kakamu. I'm CEO of a company called Groveway uh, Inc. in Japan. This company I founded about 17 years ago, back year 2004. Groveway is an internet company. We do uh, B2C business to consumer and B2B business to business and C2C consumer to consumer internet businesses. And that business is successful. We went public um, back in 2016 and we have employee more than uh, 100 and we are doing well in Japan. We came up with a blockchain uh, project idea about running um, Skillshare, skill sharing type of sharing economy platform called Time Ticket. We want to decentralize this time ticket, but I thought um, sharing economy uh, market itself has a lot of problem, not only skill sharing side. Um, it's basically a big company dominate the market and the small players cannot survive. And then they take a lot of fee from users and then all the data, trading histories and review data are kept in the uh, particular marketplace. And so user cannot export their trading histories and review data. So they cannot, they're kind of locked in to the particular application. We are thinking to decentralize the centralized system uh, to decentralize sharing economy protocol. That's why we started the project called Time Coin Protocol. And then there are some regulations in Japan. Um, it was difficult for us to issue token and sell token and trade token in Japan uh, because a global way is a listed company in Japan. So um, we did a lot of studies and then we thought the uh, Tsuk in Switzerland is the best place for us to start the business. That's why uh, we set up a company in Switzerland it's called Time Ticket Genhar, um, is a company name. And then the Time Ticket Genhar, our Swiss Switzerland subsidiary, runs this blockchain project. So Time Coin Protocol, a decentralized sharing economy platform. Even though um, we create the best decentralized sharing economy protocol, it is difficult for third party uh, application providers to build the app and then you know keep business running why because it costs too much money to acquire users by running internet business for a long time and we know um, user acquisition costs try to maintain active users are very difficult and costly so what we are thinking is we also ourselves need to create some D apps to uh, acquire enough active users. So third party D app providers can get benefit out of it. We have time ticket, which generates several million dollars uh, revenue every year. And then uh, our business has grown like more than 30 times over three years. And we have 400,000 users right now. And we want to export uh, user data, of course, under user permission uh, to the protocol side in the future. Also, uh, we are going to build another uh, skill sharing um, D app running on uh, time coin protocol, like time ticket for international versions like Chinese, uh, Hindi, and English. So, and then we can acquire a lot of users in international market. So third party um, DIA providers can get benefits. And also we started a uh, DIA called eSports Stars, which is eSports matching application. We had alpha version released back in um, October last year that we have about 10,000 users on the test marketing. It's uh, our user base is growing 
and we had contracted with uh, some uh, creators. Um, we are creating VTubers, and we have YouTube channel, um, and it's already um, we have hundred thousand um, follower, which is a registration, and then um, it's getting popular. So we are looking for uh, creative um, VTubers. Uh, who are good at uh, esports, gaming, animation, and so on. So after we have gained a lot of users and popularity, we'll open the protocol to uh, third-party dApps providers to increase the pace of creating TimeCoin ecosystem. We um, set up a company in Switzerland, then uh, our project needs to be reviewed and then kind of approved by uh, FIMAR, uh, Swiss Financial Regulatory. So we submitted our white paper to uh, FIMAR and then we need to get the opinion from them. Um, it's not uh, illegal to uh, issue the token and sell the token. So it took us about uh, half year uh, for them to review and we did some um, they asked us some questions we answered and then we need to find a bank uh, in switzerland which we uh, need to explain um, our project is uh, um, you know the good and legal uh, in switzerland and we are not violating uh, law in other countries so we had to do that kind of process but at the end, it was a good experience and then um, it, was, it was good for a project and investors, I think. Esports Stars is matching platform. We want to be an esports platform. Uh, we define creator as Esports professional player, game item creators, YouTuber, and VTubers. So they can sell the services like playing games, you know, selling goods, selling um, game related items which can be used and trade on various games. So, investor can purchase the services. From them so the platform is a matching platform where people can trade the services and the goods NFT come in, comes in to play to uh, make sure uh, the variable items which creators create uh, can be traded safely and uh, maintain the value itself whenever it is used and trade so it's we can create the place where creators can make sure their digital items can be traded safely and then you know there is no um, fraud um, they can make sure the copyright so that's one thing DeFi comes into play as well so usually creators put the contents on for example YouTube or they create items so middleman takes a lot of money from them. And so we want to create a price where uh, we charge a little bit of fee. That's where, so fan um, can um, cheer for uh, creators they love. It's like a tipping or it's called super chatting. So usually um, platformer like a YouTube charge like 50 percent or maybe more um when the fan um super chat or tipping to the creator but we try to replace that system where they can earn so creator and the boss i should say fan supporter the fans a supporter maybe uh we should say sponsor can get extra token they can earn the token when they do the super chat or tipping it works like a staking when uh, a fan likes the particular creator. 
So you do the staking, like a super chat. So deposit to uh, the particular creator. Particular creator that cannot, they cannot um, withdraw that token. It belongs to the supporter, a fan. The creator needs to do some activities to uh, increase their popularity. We uh, are creating a matrix uh, to calculate how much um, extra token they can earn. After the calculation, extra token will be pulled to the certain creator. So the creator can get 50% of earned token and then supporter of also can get the 50%. So both can get the benefit by um, creator activity-based DeFi. We say creator activity-based DeFi. So more people post um, the videos, uh, they sell the services, and the fan also can get benefit besides purchasing services and goods. It's like a gaming. <laughs> Um, it's it's fun, and then uh, you can kind of um, study who will be the good um, creator to invest, and the creator can get the fifty percent of the earned token, and then you can also get fifty percent. So, which is which is great. You're helping creator to do more activities, and then you can also get benefit uh, out of it. Um, of course, if you want to switch uh, the creator who wants to cheer for, of course, you can do that uh, all the time. That's the strategy um, we'll take. So, so that kind of matching platform. And also, um, anybody can organize and start the tournament without uh, technical knowledge. Uh, they can manage uh, the tournaments they can find the sponsors like a corporates um, they can find the fans to participate so a lot of esports um, professional teams they work very hard to uh, earn revenue from corporation it's very difficult to do so we um, tr try to create a place where um, professional team can find the fan attract a lot of fan to participate in their events usually um, esports tournament when they organize the esports tournament and they need a sponsor and the fan will participate a lot of time there are prizes and then esports team can sell their t-shirt or goods their team are related uh, goods so that will be um, my ideal so esports market is governed and ruled um, esports gaming company so i think we can um, create a place where it's more user-based uh, the platform where uh, people can freely trade the items and services using blockchain technology and token economics that's what i'm aiming for and then same idea applies for other DApps, which will be opened to third parties. We are definitely um, planning to be listed on major, major exchange and Binance will be ideal. So we are considering um, and negotiating with several exchanges and also you already know that we are already listed on bitforex and bitmart and biki so we are thinking to be listed on the bigger exchange more major exchange to increase the trading volume of time coin i think we have partial competitors um, there are some projects, they do um, decentralized sharing economy pr protocol. 
and then uh, there are some esports or animation related uh, the project I've seen. But a lot of projects they just um, raise money and they create a product, but they just won't be popular after that. Why? Because uh, they raise money and they make product, but they're not thinking um, very hard about how to run the business. Unless they get return, they cannot content necessarily run the business. So I think it's very important for uh, the project to think very hard how to uh, create healthy token economics and the business itself and then um, try to make it as decentralized as possible as technology adopts. So I, I think it's, it's a great if we can decentralize everything and then in, in a business logic and all that. But if it just costs us like five times to do it and then it's just slow or it's not reliable, and maybe it's not a good, good point um, it's not a good idea for us to um, decentralize every single thing on, uh, on the protocol. So the uh, most important thing is um, if we raise money uh, from investors and we need to make sure uh, our protocol works fine and then it's a lot of people get the benefit for a long, long, long time. So. I think we don't have a strong competitor in the market um, and then it's much more important for us to focus and make sure uh, users are happy and then they keep using our protocol and the investors also happy as well. Then third party DApp providers come in and then they can create the ecosystem for us and then it, it, it works um, in globally. So, and also the D app we create, it's kind of new idea. Esports is a new market. There is no esports matching platform exists. So there is no uh, huge leader um, in the market, in even a uh, centralized market, it's a new market. So we need to create marketplace that where um, we can utilize uh, blockchain technology and also like NFT and DeFi type of um, the functionalities to make sure, you know, we you have a um, edge over the existing players. So I think that's most important thing. So we have track record as well. Um, Time Ticket uh, already has 400,000 users and growing very fast. Time Ticket generating um, several million dollars revenue and then um, it's gonna grow um, very, very quickly. Um, we have eSports stars. Alpha version is released about five months ago. Uh, we have more than uh, 10,000 users. And then um, if we add more games, and then we are planning to add actually like um, more over 1,000 games. And also we want to add more than 30 languages then um, we built the functionality for um, the people can easily manage the tournaments and the people can trade the goods and services. And I think it's gonna be a, a huge hit in, in global market. We are lucky, I think, um, because we had the Global Way parent company, and then we have Time Ticket Inc., which generating a lot of revenue. So we got equity funding, uh, about $4 million. We had several rounds of um, equity fundings. So we use the part of um, equity fund to invest in um, our blockchain project. So we, uh, even though uh, we issued a token and then went for IEO, we did not need to sell our token prior to IEO. Um, token holders are uh, Growaway, Time Ticket Inc., and Executive, and Employee, and some advisors. 
So we don't have investors um, yet. That is why um, w uh, we decided to go IEO for more of a marketing purpose. We wanted uh, the people to know our project and what the Timecoin protocol is. So we set up um, Timecoin, one Timecoin as one US dollar. And then uh, we went to IEO, price went up um, like 1,000, more than 1,000 US dollar. Um, then now still uh, traded at around uh, 200 US dollar. Um, it's 200 times or 1,000 times on, at the peak of the return. So anyway, um, we thought that it's good timing for us to uh, raise money from uh, token sale, but we wanted investor to hold the token for a long time. So we didn't want to sell the token at the high price. So we decided to uh, discount token price more than 90% from uh, BitForex price. So we are hoping uh, people can hold our token for a long time. That is why um, we decided to sell token at this time. So it's kind of exclusive opportunity uh, because you can um, purchase a time coin at the very low price. Also, um, what we are trying is we try to increase the liquidity. So initially we are listed on Bitforex um, and then we selected to be listed on uh, Bitmart and the Biki, and then you probably see uh, more news coming. Um, on, we are listed on other major exchanges. We hopefully we want our token to be um, traded, trading volume increase, and then a lot of people buy, hopefully purchase, and hold the token for a long time. That's what we are aiming for. What we need to do is we need to enhance um, eSports stars uh, functionalities aggressively. Okay, so there are a lot of things to do. Um, we need to enhance the tournament management uh, the system, which right now it just works with um, a certain SNS, but uh, we need to uh, do more like web-based, like WeChat, Rhyme, uh, WhatsApp and a lot of application integration we need to do so people can choose uh, what uh, SNS uh, can be integrated uh, with their tournament. And then also we need to track down who win which tournaments and how much money they earn and then we need to rank them um, how strong they are in um, each game. So it's kind of fun to see um, and who is strong and um, who is winning and so on. And then that's the first thing we do. And also we need to uh, build the, the matching part. So we need to enhance the profile parts and the people can trade a service and the goods. And then along with these things, we need to build DeFi um, and NFT functionalities. So. Um, we need to solve the gas problem, which uh, because it's, we are ESA based, which is okay. We just do the off-chain. We're going to probably tie up with uh, um, other companies to do this, but we don't need to worry about the uh, gas problem um, and so on. Okay. And also we need to enhance the time ticket side, which uh, we need to um, release um, the DIA uh, near the future. So. Uh, because time ticket already had 400,000 users. So it's easier for us to leverage uh, the user base as well. And then we need to tie up with, actually contract with um, a lot of uh, YouTubers and VTubers. VTubers, uh, we look for VTubers globally. And our focus um, language is English and Hindi, Portuguese, Spanish, and Arabic and of course Chinese. 
And these languages are very important. Of course, because we are a Japan-based company, we do some Japanese VTuber, but international market is very important. So we, go, we are looking for a lot of VTubers uh, who like to play the games, good at the games, esports, the animation, and so on. So we need to do that. And then we uh, first, uh, before the development, we had to do the test marketing on uh, YouTube and Twitch. So our creators, they do the performance on YouTube and Twitch and to, to gain the popularity. And then we need to build the app, like a video app, which uh, they can get the benefit. So we are trying to build uh, video applications, video streaming application, I would say which uh, these creators, uh, other creators, they don't need to contract, necessary contract with us, but we have our own creators. But, you know, anybody basically can uh, post the videos uh, on our streaming platform and that they can get the benefit uh, time coin as they perform. Okay, so like these things are what we need to do. We are aiming for uh, the 1 million users, we need to hit 1 million users as soon as possible after the token sale. It might take some time, but we need to uh, do it soon. So we can, you know, leverage the revenue and the business track records to do more things. So Timecoin can be used, um, the settlement token on our protocol. And then as I already explained, it has a DeFi function. So creator activity based or creator popularity based DeFi function. So it means that the token uh, can be earned, extra token can be earned by cheering or um, supercharging, um, tip, or I should say tipping the creators. So as you uh, cheer for um, the creator and the creator grows and then you get more return. And then um, another thing is NFT. So people can trade, um, you know, an NFT, um, like digital goods using our token as well.